How can one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight unless God had delivered them into enemy hands? Either convert to Islam or die. This was the choice the Turkish Sultan put to sabotage Zivi, self-proclaimed Jewish Messiah in 1666. By pretending to convert, Zivi resorted to a common practice among Jews. But Zivi was not an ordinary Jew. He led a popular heresy, based on a satanic strain of the Kabbalah. The rabbis had denounced him and his followers. After his conversion, over a million followers, who later included financiers like the Rothschilds, imitated his example. But they didn't just pretend to be Muslims or Christians. They pretended to be Jews as well. They were the forebears of the Illuminati and communism. Communist defector, Bela Dodd, revealed that during the 1930s, the Communist Party had 1100 members join the Catholic priesthood. They became bishops, cardinals and popes. By adopting this chameleon strategy, this satanic cult infiltrated and subverted most governments and religions, and established an invisible tyranny without drawing much attention. Jewish researcher, Clifford Schack, said. Through infiltration, stealth and cunning, this invisible network has come to rule us all. 41 years after Shabbatai Zivi's death, in 1717, they would infiltrate masonry guilds in England and establish Freemasonry. Zivi's successor, Jacob Frank, would have a great impact on the inner core of Freemasonry known as the Illuminati, formed in 1776. Freemasonry would become the hidden force behind events, like the American, French and Russian revolutions, the creations of the UN and Israel, both world wars, and the assassinations of the Kennedy brothers, who together with their father, tried to thwart the efforts of the network on American soil. Sabadian or Frankists, also referred to as the cult of the all-seeing eye, are political and religious chameleons. They are everywhere, there is power. They are the good guys and the bad guys. The World War II era is a prime example. The following leaders were members of the cult of the all-seeing eye. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, Adolf Hitler, Eugenio Pacelli, or Pope Pius XII, Francisco Franco, Benito Mussolini, Hirohito, and Mao Zedong. Before I continue the video, please smash that like button for me. Thank you. If Mr. Shaq is correct, historians, educators, and journalists collaborate by upholding a false reality and distracting us from the truth. Our world, our perception of the human experience, are shaped by an occult secret society. Our culture is an elaborate psyop. Obviously, the Sabadians and their descendants should consume our attention. Instead, they are hidden from view. They were decisive in the so-called Enlightenment, secularism and modernism, which are but baby steps to their Satanism. According to Rabbi Marvin Antelman, they believe, sin is holy, and should be practiced for its own sake. Since the Messiah will come, when people either become righteous, or totally corrupt, the Sabbatians opted for debauchery. Since we cannot all be saints, let us all be sinners. Their blasphemous benediction, who permits the forbidden, later became the Illuminist, do as thou wilt, the expression of their religious feeling. Totally amoral, they believe the end justifies the means. In 1756, Jacob Frank and his followers were excommunicated by the rabbis. Antelman says the Sabadians were behind the liberal and revolutionary movements of the 19th century. They were also behind the reform and conservative movements in Judaism, including the Haskalah, that is, Jewish assimilation. In other words, Jews have been influenced by the Sabadians to blend in and don't even know it. That is their tactic. They don't advocate a satanic kingdom on earth. They gently steer you that way by questioning the existence of God, by demanding sexual liberation, independence for women, internationalism, diversity and religious tolerance. These all have a hidden agenda. To corrupt and to undermine all collective forces, except our own, that is, race, religion, nation and family. We are told, free sex is progressive and modern. In fact, the Sabadian sect has indulged in wife-sharing, sex orgies, adultery and incest for more than 350 years. They also promoted interracial sex. They have inducted many of us into their cult. Antelman cites, the proceedings of a rabbinical court, where Shmuel, son of Shlomo, tearfully confessed, he had rejected the Torah, and had encouraged his wife to have sex several times with Herschel. I am guilty. She did not want to. Sexual abandon is characteristic of communism, a direct outgrowth of Sabbatianism. Jacob Frank pimped his beautiful wife to recruit influential men. Female members of the Communist Party were used in the same way. Adam Weishaupt, the founder of the Illuminati, got his sister-in-law pregnant. A pertinent anecdote. In his book, The Other Side of Deception, Mossad defector, Viktor Ostrovsky, described how the Mossad relax. At a party, the staff, including many unmarried young females, congregated around a pool, totally naked. The 
the influence of the Sabadian conspiracy is hidden in plain sight. For example, the term Holocaust is used without regard to its true meaning. Rabbi Antelman states that well before World War II, the term meant burnt offering, as in sacrifice. He quotes Bruno Bettelheim who says calling the most callous, most brutal, most horrid, most heinous mass murder a burnt offering is a sacrilege, a profanation of God and man. Whose sacrifice was it? For what purpose? Obviously, it has something to do with the Sabadians occult practice. Every time we use that word, we unwittingly join in their sacrilege. According to Antelman, the Sabadians hated Jews and sought their extinction. He cites rabbis who warn as far back as 1750 that if the Jews didn't stop the Sabbatians, they would be destroyed by them. And indeed when some Jews tried to save European Jewry from genocide, Antelman says, the conservative and reform communities in the US went their merry way ignoring these activities. So-called establishment organizations like the American Jewish Congress, American Jewish Committee, and Nybrith did virtually nothing. Sabbatians only marry within their demonic sect. They often marry rich influential Gentiles. Thus, the current fourth Baron Rothschild Jacob's mother was not Jewish, nor is his wife. Another example is Al Gore's daughter, Karenna's 1997, marriage to Andrew Schiff, the great grandson of Jacob Schiff. Gore's father was a senator, sponsored by Armand Hammer, Occidental Petroleum, whose own father was the founder of the American Communist Party. Like the Clintons, Dubia and Obama, Al Gore is another Illuminati agent. Mankind is in the grip of a vicious satanic cult, whose guile and power are so great, they can make their war against humanity seem normal and inevitable. Even when their plot is exposed, they can convince everyone that it is racist and in bad taste to believe it. They have men fixated on porn while they erect a police state. Western society is morally bankrupt. This elaborate cult network controls politics, information and culture. Most leaders are dupes or traitors. The intelligentsia has been bribed while the public is distracted and lives in ignorance. Like most nations and religions, Jews have been subverted from within. Zionists are pawns of the Sabbatians who used the Holocaust to engineer the creation of Israel. Millions of Jews been sacrificed to create a capital for the Sabbatian New World Order. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.